What would you think if someone suggested you start practicing the art of allowing? If you tightly control your life and don't want to relinquish any control, this may be challenging. But holding on too tightly could be the very reason you haven't been able to achieve everything you want in life. Allowing is an essential aspect of life and growth, as well as of your success and fulfillment. The first aspect of allowing has to do with accepting things as they are. As author and teacher Byron Katie says, when you argue with reality, you lose, but only 100% of the time. Our resistance to change is what keeps us stuck in patterns that prevent us from thriving. So, today, we'll explore why we resist allowing and share four steps to release that resistance to find joy and manifest easily. Allowing is a key part of the law of attraction. Manifesting is not about grasping, but releasing control to magnetically attract what you desire. In order to manifest, you must channel your inner creative forces and take empowered action to release your resistance. Having faith in yourself is also crucial for surrendering and allowing your desires to materialize. The art of allowing invites you to trust in the universal flow. By relaxing your resistance, you permit the natural emergence of your dreams. Manifestation arises gently when you get out of your own way. Lay down defenses, open your heart, and invite the abundant possibilities seeking expression through you. Allowing is not passive, but profoundly creative work. It calls forth your highest potential by dissolving that which blocks its presence. Allowing grants the effortless power of manifestation to arise gracefully through you. It also activates your power to manifest. A major block to manifesting is resisting feeling good. To claim what you attract, you must welcome worthiness and happiness. Accept that struggle and pain aren't required for growth, success or meaning. The key to attracting everything we desire is to let go of resistance. Without resistance, you become like a magnet, attracting more positivity. This is your power to attract. When you feel good and align with love, your energy signals the universe. Your energy vibrates the clear message that you're tuned into joy and welcome more of it. It may seem strange that we resist love, happiness and freedom, but as Marianne Williamson wrote, it is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We resist love because of the ego, the opposite of love. The ego is fear, judgment, separation and attack. We've come to rely on the ego for safety and security. The truth is, we feel more comfortable in fear than in joy and faith. We believe fear protects us from disappointment, hurt and triggers. We think, if I fully embraced love, how would I protect myself? We don't trust the universe's protection because we've learned to believe the world's fears. Many also struggle to put faith in a higher power they can't see. Their ego feels safe, even as it blocks love. Choosing love means surrendering control and dissolving barriers between us. This feels risky to the ego, though it's our only path to freedom. As Naval Ravikant tells us, to see the truth, you have to get your ego out of the way because your ego doesn't want to face the truth. With practice, we can gently release the fearful grip of the ego and open up to love's boundless gifts. We all try to control our lives in different ways. Some people are aware they tend to be control freaks. Others don't realize how much they attempt to control things. We try to control life in many ways. Some become so attached to specific goals they bulldoze obstructions, unable to be flexible. Others rigidly plan every detail, leaving little room for spontaneity. Some attempt to fix or change loved ones rather than accepting them as they are. Many numb emotions through addictive patterns to avoid the sting of fear grasping at inner control. Others may dictate the results of prayer for specific outcomes rather than trust the divine's wisdom to deliver for the highest good. Resistance manifests as clinging to the familiar even when it stifles growth, resisting change. It can show up in our lives as tightly holding on to the familiar even if it no longer serves us. Black and white thinking, refusing alternate perspectives, judging or criticizing ourselves and others, feeling threatened by uncertainty and needing to control all outcomes, 
stubbornly limiting beliefs about what we deserve or are capable of, chronic stress, anxiety, and resentment when life doesn't conform to our expectations. Allowing invites us to open up to new possibilities with flexibility and trust. What we resist persists while allowing creates space for the beautiful unfolding of our manifesting. Resistance can take many forms, including addictions, denial of joy, chronic stress, illness and avoidance. These are efforts to maintain control rather than trusting in the protective power of the universe. Stepping fully into the light can feel scary because it demands healing, learning and changing. To embrace the light's potential, we must genuinely examine our habitual patterns, witness our judgments, honor our fears and surrender to spiritual guidance. Deepak Chopra states it like this, Surrender is faith that the power of love can accomplish anything, even when you cannot foresee the outcome. Walking into the light means bravely looking at the aspects of ourselves we typically hide, feeling our fears rather than numbing them, opening to wisdom beyond the ego's view, and releasing the ego's tight control to trust the unknown. We always have the choice of whether to release resistance, but as long as we cling to resistance, struggle will persist. Allowing transformative love requires courage and dissolving all that blocks our path. Each step into love's radiant light deepens our self-trust and faith in the universe's infinite grace. When we surrender resistance and allow, we enable our highest potential to unfold. Now let's look at four steps Gabrielle Bernstein developed to release resistance and manifest your desires. Step one, acknowledge your resistance to break free from resistance, first, acknowledge its presence. Though your loving mind wants peace, the fearful ego resists freedom and control. Accept your addiction to fear, forgive yourself for past detours into it, and have compassion for clinging to old patterns. Acknowledge where you specifically resist love. Resistance will continue arising. That's okay. Gently acknowledge it, forgive yourself, and realign with love. Step 2. Surrender to spiritual guidance. We're programmed to believe the world's fears, resisting love by controlling life. To believe in love requires mental reprogramming. Surrender your plans and release control, allowing your intuition and love to guide you. Pray to relinquish your agenda to the universe's care. Trust a greater plan is unfolding through you. Step three, release judgment. Judgment has been a defense against vulnerability and pain. We wrongly think judging makes us safer when it actually breeds more separation. Choosing compassion over judgment helps us realize how unsafe it is. When we protect ourselves with judgment, we disconnect further from love. For most of us, love can seem more terrifying than fear. We resist love to avoid pain, but love is the antidote to judgment. Love heals all. Step four, proactively choose joy. We have a sacred duty to lean into joy. The more joyful we are, the more light we shine. Joy raises our vibration, giving energy to serve and manifest. It inspires solutions and generosity. In joy, we leave a positive imprint on all beings. Allowing activates your power to manifest. A major block to manifesting is resisting feeling good. To claim what you attract, you must welcome worthiness and happiness. Accept that struggle and pain aren't required for growth, success, or meaning. It's good to feel good. Without resistance, you become a magnet for your desires and feeling love supports you in all aspects of life. Allowing reconnects to your loving essence in tune with the universe's vibration. Resistance creates disconnection, contradiction, and friction that block the manifestation. Non-resistance fosters alignment, allowing your natural capacity as an attractor to shine. Releasing resistance opens up effortless flow. Practice self-love, forgiveness, and presence. Follow intuition over fear, move toward joy, dissolve judgment. As resistance fades, your highest potential manifests with ease. You feel lit up by purpose, grounded in self-trust, and connected to all life. This state of allowing is your relaxed manifesting power. I hope this content resonates with you. If you like this content, please share it with your loved ones and share your experience in the comments below. 
to discover more about manifesting, watch this video next.